Hi guys, today Friday, June 12, 2020, sun is shining very bright, weather is really good. I'm supposed to be sitting in the backyard enjoying the good weather, but I'm going to talk to you about the most important person, the executor or the executrix. Why? Because you empower your executor or executrix to pay your bills, taxes, deal with debt collectors, and then distribute your estate to the rightful beneficiaries as per your will, how much and to whom. By the way, you make sure about the wording in your will to allow your executor or executrix little leeway to take care of related issues which are not specifically, specifically mentioned in your will. For example, your rental property needs upkeep, maintenance, rental, collection, taxes, uh, tenant issue, etc. Another example, your investments needs investment decisions when the market is up or down. Like yesterday, market was so down because of the fear of resurgence of COVID-19 and today it is coming up again. So in these times, somebody should take care of those decisions regarding your investments. Whom you are going to appoint as an executor or executive, obviously a living person or still living person. Now, for example, can I appoint my eldest brother as an executor or executrix? Actuarial exemption says, that he is supposed to go before me. So keep those things in mind. Now usually we select spouse or a partner, adult child, a trustworthy friend or a trustworthy relative. That's usual. thing. You can also name a joint executor like your spouse or your partner with attorney. But you don't want to put three children as executors when you know that they had a strange relationship and there was a history in the past about family clashes. So keep those things in mind. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, probate court usually supervises the executor or executrix to ensure that he or she carries out your wishes specified in your will. Now, important thing, executor or executor is supposed to be smart enough to say, hey, I am in charge, but I am going to seek help from the professionals as and when I required. And make sure also that you include those types of wordings in your will or the provisions in that will to pay for those specialities or the professional or expertise. Now, I have a very good friend in Montreal, Quebec. Can I appoint her as an executrix? Look out of province, executor executrix is practically not good. My brother lives in Chicago, well educated, no taxes, uh, legalities, wills and power of attorney and estates, etc. Can I appoint him? 
well that will lead because it's a non then it will become non resident uh, executor correct and then it will invite non resident taxes so keep those things in mind okay now for an executor or executor tricks they feel that it's my honor I am the most responsible he or she may think then I knew I am the smartest than my brothers and sisters but in reality in reality he or she should think Am I capable enough to manage family fights? Can I manage taxes? I mean estate taxes, liquidity issues, grief, pain, stress, sometimes litigation or other risks of or inequality. Also, am I capable or am I having enough time to manage this process? I'll give an example. I'm just giving an example. Let's say I'm going to die next six months because of the prostate cancer. I have a very well-educated daughter, very responsible, bright knows taxations, knows um, legality and all. She got a kid of three years and also she is expected with another child in next four months. Remember, my lifespan is now six months. So if I appoint her, what will be the story? She will have a two month old child with another child of three years or three and a half years. Do you think she will have enough time? So keep those things in mind. So those questions are supposed to be asked when you are appointing executor or executrix. Now, sometimes it's make big sense to appoint attorney or someone with legal and financial expertise. For example, if you're estate holds estates requiring in-depth valuations or tax planning like uh, private corporation cross-border assets here and south of the border or any other other places other countries other jurisdictions farmland rental real estates or assets are held in trust which requires professional guidance and professional oversight till the children's they demonstrate their ability to manage the money. If you feel there is a family history or possibility of a strange relationship or family fights among your heirs or beneficiary, or your estate is legally complex. or your estate is complicated or it is having substantial value like multi-million dollar assets. That time it is better to seek professional help. Be sure to work with someone who is familiar with the laws of the province and has extensive experience with wealth. Hope this information you may find it enough to help you in your preparation of wills. If you like my video of course give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching.
Stay safe.